What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, thanks to one of our awesome, awesome viewers, fans, we've been on his account a lot, Lars's accounts are awesome, and this one, he managed to take the time and build a hero, so we didn't have to, he did the summons and everything, and look at how awesome Williams looks, to be honest, like, he just looks bad ass i love how he looks his skills are pretty cool uh we're gonna be doing some testing with him i'm kind of hoping oh no wait a minute i was kind of hoping we had a fearless armor around here somewhere because that's usually a good way to test the hero out is with something really really basic let me see what we got for artifacts here oh come on yeah yeah one we hit one fearless armor are you kidding me or sorry plate of courageous plate of courageous maybe we hit something good I mean, Orb of Annihilation is actually pretty solid. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to be testing this hero out kind of as basic as possible. Sadly, we already took him to E5, though. I was going to test him at E3. That's neither here nor there. Let's get this upgraded right here because uh, I want to try to see what the bare minimum this hero can do, mainly in Sealand because that is like the first place everybody needs to get progression in, I feel like. And then it branches out into a lot of different areas here. So, uh Put like a couple of these in there sure that's fine all right so we got you leveled up we got a holy attack attack i think that's really good too and i think we have yeah we have tons of stellar shards to play around with as well so the hero's kit is interesting when you take a look at his active skill he's going to be dealing damage to backline enemies and restoring himself for 20 percent of the damage dealt that does go up to 30 percent, i think with v4 uh Really interesting. When you're in the state of frenzy, you're gonna bleed the target. When you're state of will, you're gonna inflict divine retribution on the targets, which of course is damage that cannot crit, but is a fixed damage number, uh, which is kind of interesting. And then increases all allies holy damage by three percent. He has damage reduction built in, which is awesome. He of course has a basic attack, which has a random chance, random enemy, and only a seventy slash eighty percent chance to increase his own self holy damage. So that's iffy i'm just hoping the heal portion is not and it lasts for two rounds so it probably gets you a heal immediately on the basic and then another heal at the end of the round and then lastly basically telling you what you need to do we're going to be going for the will of sanctity meaning he has less than 100 energy at the start and that's going to give him increased damage reduction even more and gives all allies holy damage just flat holy damage which is pretty dang solid here I think because he has so much damage reduction, even running Bounce Strike on this hero can potentially be good. The only downside here, we have no crit chance. This hero, wait, hold on, wait a minute. He's a what? He ended up being a Ranger. Wait, not there. Uh, Do we have Ranger tech? Oh, we do. Wait, there's no crit chance in the Ranger tree? Holy cow. Um. Okay, so Bounce Strike, I guess, would just give us a flat... 30% extra damage because he's not going to crit. So there's that. And on top of that, we have a nice little Ignis to go along with him, which everybody should be able to have. So let's take a look. We have a lot of levels to go through. We're going to smash through quite a few of them here. We got a lot, of, a lot of babies here too. A lot of just randomness going on. We'll throw some Cruz in. Uh, we have the Wolf, which is perfect as well. And let's just skip through a few of these battles, get to the little bit harder ones. And again, I feel like because of his kit, he does have potential to be up there with like Eloise. I just don't know how good. And I don't know how powerful. I need to check one other thing. Treasure train. What is our power at on our treasure train? Um, honestly, not that much. I had pretty similar to this on my free to play account very early on because of the events that we had. So this isn't like crazy high or anything crazy good. Let's also check galactic tree. Okay, good. Only one star spawn. Yeah, that's okay. So we're in a very good healthy spot to compare for an early game account. So let's see what these combats actually look like. And I actually have him placed in the wrong spot with the Ignis here. He gets this little star above his head, and I'm guessing the star is what is kind of telling us what is going on with him. So the downside is his basic is only hitting one target, which feels kind of weak. You can see we have the stacks going up here. You can see everybody has two stacks of that additional holy damage. It sometimes goes up to three, bounces back to two, three, two, three. 
seems pretty solid overall but again the fact that like i wish his basic attack hit just like the front line here because you'll see even end of round we're getting a heal from our basic so right there we do a basic there's the heal huh <laughs> um <laughs> that's actually not what i was expecting right there i was actually not expecting that um okay Damage seems a little lacking, to say the least, with a fearless armor. Played a courageous, whatever it's called. And that's mainly, I think, because his basic attack is such a wet noodle attack. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. He had, like, everything in his kit that I thought was good, but the problem here is he, he's, like, having to struggle out damaging the enemy. And for some reason, why... Why is his main active skill not healing, right? Stores self equal to 20% of the damage dealt, right? Is he actually not healing from the back row hits? Like right there, you get a small heal, and then probably at the end of the round, we get another heal. Yep, there's that other heal, and then the active skill. Okay, no, no, that was definitely a heal right there. The, the good part is he does have survivability, which probably means you can run him in a more offensive build that doesn't require damage reduction as much. Oh my gosh, the basic heal is RNG. So I was actually on MK's stream last night talking, and he brought this up. Craving for Benediction changes the basic attack to deals damage to one enemy with a 70% chance to increase self holy damage for two rounds and restore self HP for two rounds. That 70% applies to the heal too because of that comma they put there. It basically says all of this is a 70% chance. So that's why he's actually not getting the healing we originally thought he would. Which really is not great at all. Holy cow. My gosh. No, no, I no, I take it back. Don't don't no don't let me go. I hate that place. I hate that place so much. Oh lord. This is um This is interesting to say the least. His active does pack a punch. You have to, especially with like an antlers cane. And maybe he doesn't need the play to courageous. Maybe building a more offensive is good. Granted, you do have to remember in Sea Land here for going up against the fortress enemies, they have a lot of healing. The heal's just not as good as I was kind of anticipating, to be honest. I was expecting the heal to be stronger. I think if we're already running Bounce Strike, we can even run it for healing too. So that was better. I will give him that. Going with something like an Antler's Cane is definitely a much better option. So if we run him in a little bit more optimal scenario here, the wall deck and everything, he could do decently. Ooh, yeah, that was actually a really good hit there. So yeah, running an antler seems like a potential option. Building him tanky does not seem the way to go. Honestly, a melodic strings might be like the best play on him because then he starts in his more aggressive form that gives him speed as well as additional uh, additional attack percentage. Okay, all right. So maybe it's just building him the right way is what we need to do. We need to build him offensive and not a typical tanky hero like we do with Eloise and such, because you see here, now we're getting some good wins here. We're actually able to progress a little bit. I'm sure there's still gonna be some RNG involved with his abilities. I'm wondering if we should run a crit crit attack stone. Granted, him not critting is not the worst thing in the world because that's just giving him 30% flat damage. Getting that back row down fast is important though, because then we act, we can work on the front row with the active skills. Oh, it's just a ton of damage that slowly comes in. That's the big part that's ramping up here. So if you have resonance gear we could try out. To be honest though, nowadays you never just get to like E5 and not have at least V1, if not V2. So let's get him up to V1. 
That's going to give him a little bit more damage reduction, attack, and HP. And we're going to slowly improve him and see how far he can go. Honestly, I think Antler's Cane is probably the best play for him. A lot of his damage is coming from his active skill, so skill damage will help with that. We get precision, we get attack, all those really good juicy things here. Wow, the crew's actually proccing. But I'd like to see. Taking out those priests as fast as possible so we don't take any more damage, or they don't get to heal as much. All right, so this is good. We get an active, and then we're going to get another active. Yeah, having that 10-star Ignis seems like the survivability you kind of need if we have no crit chance. Five rounds, can we do it is the question. I think we can. One more active should be enough to finish this off since they won't heal. Just getting to that active is a bit tedious. Oh, wow, it almost didn't happen. It almost didn't happen. So let's give it a few tries. We're just going to go with this squad here. Let's see if it can smash out to 20. And not so... As far as V1 goes, that's not going to be the power increase we can have. We can now go to Resonance Gear. Oh my gosh, Splendid Melodic would actually probably be really busted. Uh, let's go with his Resonance Gear because I feel like that might happen around the same time that you're building up the power of your hero. Nope. Resonance Gear doesn't even seem like it's enough. Let's see what's going on here. Because that's a, that's just a lot of additional stats you get right there. I feel like damage is still probably the problem, and the only way to fix the damage problem is increase his void imprinting. Man, why can't they just release these overpowered heroes? I'm so tired of using Eloise. Like, I'm so tired of you using Eloise. Oh, man. All right, that's a good hit. That was a good timing on the heal. Big burst on the boss. Yeah, it's going to be damage is the issue. It's getting to the, the act is fast enough. We do need to go for higher imprinting. Granted, remember, this is this doesn't mean he's not a good one to go for first. Because remember, one thing that Eloise does better than anybody else is do it on such a budget. Like, nobody else is even close. A lot of these heroes do require you go to V2 to V4 to actually get this type of thing done. Especially when you don't have much of a treasure train or anything like that. It's funny how treasure train has changed the early game so much too. If you can get a treasure train very early on, it's so good. And there is some RNG with these cruises too, because if we do get the stuns on the priest and they don't get heals, that does speed up our process and increases the survivability of our other support heroes around us. So big active and then went into another active. So now we have seven rounds to kill the front two, which seems possible. Oh, yeah, definitely possible. Even the basics might do it. Yep, cool, cool, cool. So that's possible. Is 19 possible? Probably not. No, 19 is not possible. So I think going up to then... Honestly, there's not much else we can try because I don't want to go up to a Splendid Melodic because I think that might be busted OP strong. Let's go up to V3 because, again... You can get so many Stellar Shards early on now because of the new Glorious Shop 2 going to V3. Again, not that difficult anymore. I think in the first month, I was already to almost V4 on a hero, which was just insane. Doesn't seem like that's going to cut it. And we don't really have any other artifacts to play around with here. That's pretty much all we got. So I guess we take him to V4. See if that increased power on the active skill does make a difference. Because it could. It very well could make a gigantic difference here. Because now this is doing 800%. We're healing for more. Let's see what this looks like. On 18. My goodness. I thought, I thought he was going to perform better than this. It's just... It... He's either too tanky or too damage oriented. I guess we could try with just a magic source. Well, I don't think that's going to be great because at least with not starting with energy, we're getting some damage reduction. It's just I think the incoming damage is going to outscale us now. Problem actually seems like we're dying more than anything else. So what would happen? We went with the crit crit attack one instead. 
This now means we can actually potentially heal from our critical hits, which are not going to be that plentiful, just remember. But hopefully it could be enough to keep us alive a little longer on top of the active skill leeching life. Definitely feels better with some crit. It's just like, it's just enough to keep us going. Five rounds, can we do this? I don't know. Ugh, I don't think so. We're not going to get another active skill off. It's going to have to be a basic. It even crit and it was not enough. <sighs> Sadly, that does not look great. Well, there's another thing we can do. <laughs> We got a free one. Let's just see what he gets. Because again, these are extra stats that you'll most likely have on a hero. And seeing that it's an E stat, pretty accurate, I'd say. Pretty accurate. Um, is there anything else we could change up on this hero? Not really. That is essentially all we got. Unless we were to make him a main homeowner, which I don't think is something you really want to do. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, literally going for this melodic seems like the play, but if we go for the melodic, I feel like this is going to be overkill now. I feel like it is. We'll see if it is. I have no clue, especially with two actives in a row. I wish we had a regular melodic to try out just to see how his more offensive form performs. Because, I mean, melodic strings at this power level is just so strong. We just don't have anything in between a regular antlers. Oh, man. <laughs> ay, 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 yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's definitely overkill at this point, but I just don't know what else I would test out. I'm going to leave this for now in case I can figure something else out. Um, we might have resources in here that we can burn. We actually do. We could buy something. We don't have any chests, though. So uh, I'm going to put that on pause because I think that's a little too much overkill. I don't think that's fair to use, so we'll have to see. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. That is our first impressions of Williams. Not that great. Honestly, I'd even consider an older hero like Inoscape better than him, sadly. So the dream of him replacing Eloise, not there. He looks amazing. His kit is decent. It's just not quite strong enough. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.